What's good, Grey Gang? Today, we have some air guns out here, and by the end of the video, we're going to be squirrel hunting with scope cams on them. But first, we got to pull them out, show you all about them, how they work, and we're going to see just how accurate these things are compared to a real 22. and then we're going to be shooting some exploding targets. First step in the sequence of events is to actually show you what kind of air guns we got. Now, here's the thing, guys. A lot of people may say, dude, an air gun is just a glorified BB gun. And it is, but it's a glorified BB gun, which doesn't have hardly any restrictions, as long as you don't live in Canada. Can you believe, I mean, I'm sure there's like four or five people in Canada watching, but for you Americans, can you believe Canada has laws on air guns? Why? But anyways, let's go ahead and dive into the air guns. I've got two different air guns here, and they're two different types. They are both 22 caliber though. Generally on air guns, you either got point 177 caliber, which is 17, or point 22. Point 22 is going to travel slower, but it's going to have a bigger pellet, and uh, you know, that's the one I choose to go with. Now let's go ahead and pull these out. I'll pull out my old one. This is my old one. Believe it or not, I actually got it in fan mail. If you, if you sent this in fan mail and you're still watching the channel, you're a champ, okay? Because this has been a long time. It's an old Benjamin. I've killed a lot of stuff with this. I put a new stock on it because it came with a pistol grip and no stock. But dude, this thing's a stinking hammer. Iron sights, ready to rock and roll. That one's gonna be sick. The next one is a little more for precision. It's a PCP, so it's got like a lot of air already in it. And it's got a scope on it, so that's gonna be pretty good. I don't know the brand, but. That one's Benjamin too. Believe it or not, I've actually only shot this in like a couple times because I never had a pump to pump it up. But then I finally got one. The good thing about this one is that you pump it up once and then you got like, I don't know, maybe 20 shots or something where you can just bolt action and load them in as fast as you can shoot them. Pretty decent scope on it. Should be really good for reaching out and putting the putting the pellet right on top of the squirrel heads. This is the one we're going to be running the scope cam on. Is that one threaded? Yes, it is threaded, but it is not normal thread. Yeah, first things first, this one's not sided in, so that's what we're going to start off doing. I'm going to lay it right here in the rest, and we're going to try to get this thing dialed in as good as possible. That way, when we go out hunting for squirrels... We'll be good to go. We'll be fine. And for some of you guys who do hunt with actual guns, like 22s, you may be saying, KG, why would you ever use an air gun? And the reason is because I couldn't shoot this thing inside city limits, and most places don't have any problems with it. Now, am I going squirrel hunting in the city? No. But, I mean, I guess if I ever did, I could. Shoot a squirrel run across the power line or something. I mean, I, I guess. These can also sometimes be quiet. And the ammo's a little bit cheaper. The pellets can still be a little high, but I don't know. That's not really a reason to shoot an air gun. But one of the best things about air guns, you just get on Amazon, you just buy it. All right, let's go ahead and sight this thing in. There. That's a good looking air gun. Yeah, it does look good. It is a little windy out here today, which is one reason why 22 caliber is what I like, because it's, it's kicked off a little bit less by wind. Now, since I'm sighting it in, and this is the most important time to shoot it, I'm going to wait for the wind to slow down just a little bit. See, dude, that's silent. That is quiet. And I don't even have a suppressor on. This is the kind of thing where you shoot one squirrel, then you shoot another one, then you shoot another one, and they don't even know what's going on. Then you just shoot another one. You shoot as many squirrels as there. Dude, if I was a squirrel, I wouldn't have a clue what was going on. That is very quiet compared to 22. And if I wanted to pay like $100 or something, I could put a suppressor on it, which would make it dead silent about it. All right, last shot, then we'll go check out the group. We may be hitting the dirt. I'm hearing them hit the dirt. That's not good. Yep, we hit the dirt. We're off by a lot. All right, we need to go up. We steer the bullet. We'll see how it does. We should be able to hear it hit that box. Should be. Especially how quiet it is normally. All right, here we go. That hit the box. Yes, it did. I still think that one was a little low, though. Probably. Because I heard it hit dirt and the box. So I don't know if it just bounced up and hit it or what. That was a box. Where did they hit? We're still really low. We'll get back with you guys whenever we sight it in. All right, guys, it's been about 15 minutes, and I'd like to say that this gun cannot hold a group stronger than three inches at 25 yards. There's literally nothing I can be doing wrong to make it mess up that bad. We have it in a shooting rest. That we don't shoot until the wind stops blowing. The scope is tight. The bolt is tight. The air is not leaking. The air tank is full, and it's not overfilled. The barrel is free-floating, which could be the problem, because the barrel does move. Whoever thought it would be a good idea to make an air gun to where the barrel moves that much, who knows, but I taped it up to where it wouldn't move, 
to try it and that didn't help it either literally the best group we're getting is about like that it'll it'll put two right on top of each other and then it'll put one down here and then hit and then put one on top of it doesn't make any sense can't hit the broadside of a barn this gun is not mine anymore i don't know what the deal is this is terrible good job benjamin you wasted my time and my money looks like we're going on back to the basics no single shot pump action iron sight billy goat all right, let's see what we got. For this bad boy, you pump it eight times, you load it, and you shoot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, then we load it, and we just put the irons on it, pull the trigger. Let's see how this improves. All right, here we go. I'll try my best. It's still going to do better patterns than that thing, even though I can't see on this one. On an actual 22 long rifle, you should be able to put a group at 35 yards, about like that. And if you can't, might be the ammo, might be the gun shot out, or it might just be you. But you can do that, and you should be able to. With an air gun, I'd imagine you should be able to, but that one's not capable. Either of my other four that I've tried. My relationship with air guns has never been really good. Mine haven't either. I've never been able to hit a better group than three inches with any air gun except this and it's just because it's iron sights and i've never actually tried to get a group on it that doesn't mean i'm a dead eye with that one either i've had way more misses than i've had hits on targets on that one but we'll see what kind of groups we have today all right so i was aiming right here and i hit here here and here i don't think air guns are the move no they're not can't hit anything for this one you can see no matter where i was aiming doesn't really matter none of those are a pattern even if it was those three That'd been great. I was aiming at the G. I hit here, 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 and here. Aimed at the K. I hit here, here, and here. Wow. That's pretty terrible. I'm going to try that air gun one more time. One more time. I'm going to try the good air gun. The one that's actually I paid a lot of money for. Probably because I'm dumb. Here's my question. How is everybody else in the world really good at doing air guns? Apparently except for me. Because everybody else says they kill stuff with them. I don't know how. You can kill stuff if you don't care to take 10 shots at it. But I want to hit where I'm aiming. That's just not the case. I'm going to bring up that air gun. I'm going to shoot inside that nine. Three shots. There's no wind. And if I can't get a group within a quarter, it's game over. There's no hope for that air gun. What is he doing? He, he doesn't know. He's just chilling. The air gun's high quality. It's full of air. We've never overpressured it. I've not even used it that much. The pellets are good. The shooter's pretty good because I'm literally in a bench rest. The scope's good. It's the one it came with. I mounted it good. The barrel's free floating exactly how they designed it. Let's see. We're only 25 yards away. We're not trying to push its limits at 100. It's not windy. The humidity's average. The barometric pressure is normal. If we cannot get a decent group with this gun, I am not going squirrel hunting with an air gun. All right, here we go. Radley barrel. The barrel's literally rattling. That is terrible. That is terrible. Boys, I don't know, but if you have comments, if, if you guys are big air gunners in the comments, am I doing anything wrong? And if I am, I don't know how. I'm not touching the barrel when I shoot. I'm just letting it free float just like it was designed. A nice, slow, solid, pure trigger pull. Here we go, last shot. I'm gonna put two more on, just so that we can really see what kind of pattern it's giving me. It's shooting like a shotgun. It's a pattern, it's not a group, it's a pattern now. That's four, we'll put five on it. Last one. I'm gonna put one more, I'm gonna put six on it. I may just put 10 shot group on it. I'm gonna do that, 10 shot group. This is six. That's 10 shots, let's go see what it does. Kanye's gotten real close to us. He's really enjoying this process. What are you doing, Kanye? And I'm Kanye. <laughs> All right, let's go see what kind of pattern we got. This ain't good, boys. Like I was saying, I don't care if it's 10 shots, 3 shots, 25 shots. If my group isn't in a quarter or even, we'll say a half dollar, I don't need to go hunting with it. No. Just because I shoot more shots, that shouldn't mean the group gets bigger. Boys, this ain't good. I ain't looking at the pattern yet, but it ain't looking good. Wow. 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 Hit <laughs> everywhere but the non. I was aiming right here. Oh, my goodness. Let's just go ahead and count them. We have one, two, let's just say those two are the only ones I was shooting, okay? That's still a terrible pattern and not good enough to even hit a squirrel's head at 25 yards. Then you got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's say that the pattern's right here. Dude, you're looking at two inches right there. Then if you count this flyer, which there shouldn't be flyers, 
that bad. You know what, flyers are something whenever one bullet just decides to go crazy. But all of these bullets go crazy, okay? Even if that's the central group and we count off 30% of them for flyers, we're still looking at a two and three inch group. Yeah, that's not That good. is terrible. And if we, even if we just take the best five out of 10, we're still looking at an inch and a half group. I had big plans today. I was gonna go out there. I was gonna hunt some squirrel scope cam. But I think if I went squirrel hunting with this gun, I would be doing a disservice to the world. Cause it's a recipe for nothing. You're literally just gonna go out there, miss about eight squirrels, and then you're finally gonna hit the foot of one and ruin his life. I ain't going squirrel hunting. Game over. We're taking the gun to a pawn shop. Let's go. But before we go to the pawn shop, I did promise you guys exploding targets. So we have a air compressed bottle and apparently we have, we have it extremely compressed like with an air compressor. So it ain't gonna be no fireball, but it's gonna be a whole lot louder than the booms we've heard today. All right, let's go. And apparently I'm shooting it with this gun. So if I miss, you know exactly why. Did I miss the bottle? Yes. Oh my goodness. It's so compressed it ain't going through. It might be. That gun's junk. This one's not much better, but it's a little bit better. It's not much better. This is a lot of work to hit a bottle. Here, shoot this one. All right. Ready? Yep. It didn't even go <laughs> through. What the heck? It didn't even go through. That was, was it supposed to make a sound? There's no way it went through. Yeah, it went through. I seen the air spew out. Oh my goodness. Ah, right, that one's pretty good. Yeah. That one's pretty good. That's pretty good right there. All right, that was worth it. Yeah, let's go to the pawn shop. We're leaving. Yep, let's go. 